Let's quickly discuss about a my, uh, macroeconomics question from the Indian Economic Service question paper. <clears throat> so um, this is from the general paper two, paper two of the IES 2022. So now first question asked here is about the real cash balance effect. Okay. So here uh, I'm going to explain the PIGO effect as well as the patent cons effect, right? So to begin with the first one in front of you is about what has PIGO said, right? So uh, according to PIGO, basically when there is a decrease in price, the real money balance or real cash balance means M by P, right? This will increase. Okay, so when this will increase, that means purchasing power, purchasing power of people will increase. So consumer spending will increase. Consumer spending will increase, savings will decrease. As a result, the IS curve will shift from IS to IS1. And this everything is happening when LM is given. No change. So in that situation, as you can see, what is happening in the economy is output increases and the rate of interest also increases in the economy. So this is what PIGU said and this is the PIGU effect of a real money balance effect. Later on, Pattinson tried to Later on, Pattinson tried um, to integrate three markets together, okay? Number one is our commodity market. Number two is labor market. And number three is money market. These two are the real sector. And this is the nominal or the money variable sector. Now, he tried to integrate these two by saying that um, there is no distinction between one remaining ineffective and another only being affected by the policy changes, okay? So, in order to explain it, he has used ISLM curve where he has shown that suppose initially if in the economy, say price increases, right? So, when the price increases in the economy, what will happen? real money balance will decrease okay real money balance will decrease that means purchasing power will decrease okay due to this what will happen due to this decrease in purchasing power demand will decrease due to this decrease in demand what will happen production will fall as a result unemployment will increase right now due to decrease in demand and increase in unemployment this will result in fall in prices and wages right now it Pattinson said that this scenario will be restored now what is the scenario here once again the price and wages is now falling so it started with the increase in price level in the economy and ultimately there is decrease in price and wages. Now due to this decrease in price, what is happening now M by P increases, right? So M by this increase in M by P is shown by, so initially the equilibrium is at point E where uh, Y is the equilibrium output and here is your uh, interest rate, okay, nominal interest rate. Now what is uh, real interest rate? Now what is happening is uh, in this case, you know, uh, if the full employment level is YF and equilibrium is at Y, that means Y minus YF, this is unemployment. So full employment needs to be restored. Now, in this situation, what is happening? M by P is increasing. Now, this increase in M by P is shown by the right shift of the LM curve from LM to LM1. As a result, the new equilibrium is now at point E1 and there is a slight increase from Y to Y1, but still there is problem of unemployment that is a by amount y1 minus yf now so in order to the uh, now what happens in the economy um, so now um, <clears throat> due to this uh, so this needs to be restored still now uh, if i compare from point e and e1 so as you know that the interest rate uh, decreases right when i am at point e and now the new equilibrium is at point e1 now 
so if i compare so the interest rate has decreased so as a result investment demand will increase so if investment is increasing that means uh, it is shown by the rightward shift of the is curve okay so uh, the right uh, is curve shifts to the right now to restore the equilibrium what will happen as investment increases demand increases uh, in the economy so obviously uh, there will be more production more employment so price and wage level will fall further in the economy as a result lm curve will shift to the right again and uh, the equilibrium and point e2 and where the full employment level will be reached at yf so that means the full employment level is restored so if i summarize this so what is happening initially there is increase in price right initially price increases then what happens uh, due to which purchasing power decreases demand decreases production decreases unemployment increases so ultimately price and wages uh, falls in the economy which in turn again increases the purchasing power which shifts the lm curve and rate of interest falls which induces investment as a result is curve shifts to the right and to restore the equilibrium due to, and manage the demand there is a fall in price and wages as a result the income uh, the equilibrium point is restored and the full employment level is reached so this is the real cash balance effect of given by patent concern